Hey everyone, Rick here, and this is just going to be a single booster unboxing. I just got a case in of Mage Knight Minions. Remember Mage Knights? The original collectible pre-painted miniature skirmish tabletop battle game. And I'm still wild for this. This is one of, one of the first introductions to the tabletop hobby for me. So I... Every once in a while, check eBay. What do they got? Well, this case uh, was up for grabs. Minions. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I can't wait. So I'm going to open one of these boosters. Just got home, actually, from seeing an advanced screening of Mary Poppins. Guys, I was bawling my eyes out. When you see it and you see what Dick Van Dyke does. He was 91 years old at the time of that film. And... Coming back for the sequel. When you see what he does at 91 years old, it's going to blow your mind. Anyway, let's focus now on these Mage Knight figures. Booster pack sealed. So let's hope. One of my biggest fears a lot of the time is if these are tampered with in any way. Now, it all looks pretty good here, to be honest. I have run into some packs that I could tell had been tampered with. Now, in this case... It seems like the original adhesive is still intact here. So I don't know. Would anyone really bother to tamper with these these days? Who knows? Let's open it up, see what we've got inside. Mage Knight Minions. Folks, this is a throwback. I was like 12 years old when Mage Knight first came out. Here we go. First figure right out of the pack, Dwarven Thunder Gunner. It is a weak figure. Notice the yellow detailing on the fig. So it's Black Powder Rebels. You can tell it's weak due to the one star. So it was one to three star rarity. 22 points to add this guy to your army. Eight range, but look at that. He could target up to four opposing figures. The importance of that is you negate his typical damage value and instead do one damage to each target but in this case he only had a one damage value at least this weak version did so he can move six not unusual for a dwarf attack of eight defense of 15 damage value of one little green means that's where you start his dial center dot on the dials where you draw a line of sight line of fire range from uh, some of these uh, had the ability to be t their dials to be turned from the bottom others were around the base the blue square around defense meant he had magic immunity. So while that was good in the fact he could not be targeted by magic blast, for example, because he's a dwarf, he's immune to magic, that also meant he could not be healed by magic healing, for example. So that's a dwarven thunder gunner. That is fig one of four. These minions booster packs all had four figures in them. I think only the original rebellion and Unlimited were the only ones that actually had five figures in there. Okay, so the next figure coming out of the pack here is a standard Glade Guardian. Two star from the Elemental Guild. 26 points to add this guy. Kind of looks like a wolf. So he is a Glade Guardian. No range, as you can see. Let's see if I can... Uh, turn his dial to the starting position. Ooh, nice. I'm liking this because green square around his speed means charge. So normally you can only move or attack in Mage Knight in a given turn. This guy can move up to five inches and then also engage in a close combat attack. And with an attack of nine, damage value of two means he can shoot out the gate and maybe do some damage. Fantastic. I always love the charge and the bound abilities. Those are two of my favorite abilities. Okay, next up we have a new type of figure that was introduced in Minions. They were these Xandrasons. So this was another this was an Atlantean. Three stars means she's tough. 31 points to add her to your army. This is a Xandrason captain. Notice her swashbuckly appearance. And her pistol there. Eight range. Decent range. Not bad. And then 
her stat. So she can move, baby, 10 inches. Not only that, she has the yellow square that's aquatic. That means water does not impede her movement. So if you are playing with terrain that includes rivers, ponds, streams, whatever the case may be, that's not going to slow her down at all. She also has Flame Lightning as her attack special ability. Ten attack is fantastic. Imagine that eight-inch range shooting with a ten attack. Defense a little low at 15, but hey, she's going to be back there firing away, especially with Flame Lightning, which is going to be fantastic against formations. She sees a formation of units approaching her. Well, she has a couple options. She does three damage to a single figure, or with Flame Lightning, lightning she can target the whole formation do you click a damage to each one of them not bad at all for 31 points yeah she's rocking it all right folks this is the fourth and final figure in this pack who's it gonna be we have an elven acolyte a damaged elven acolyte a lot of these, well, especially, you know, after so long, sometimes the plastic can come, become brittle. I already know he's damaged just because you can see the end of his staff there. I'm sure inside of here somewhere is going to be the tip of his staff maybe stuck in there. But anyway, no, this is an awesome figure. First of all, we got pretty lucky. We had two tufts in here. So another elemental guild. 26 points, three stars, which means he's tough. Eight inches of range. I'm seeing a theme here. All of our, all three of our ranged units had eight inches. But you'll see why I like this guy. <clears throat> Couple reasons. First of all, stealth. He has stealth's black square around speed, which means he cannot be shot at if in hindering terrain. So a, a forest, for example, you can't target this guy with a ranged attack. But... What I'm loving is the attack special ability of magic healing. So from eight inches away, he can heal you. You pop this guy into some brush, some hindering terrain off to the side, eight inches away. No one's able to shoot at him. But if your guys get hit on their way to battle, have him, you know, camped out in some brush. No one can target him, and he can target them, get them back up to health with their magic healing. Not if you're a dwarf, though. Dwarves and magic don't mix. So there you have it. Uh, base uh, damage value of 2, defense of 16, not bad. Base attack of 8, not bad. 26 points to get a pretty capable ranged healer uh, with a nice special ability of stealth. So that's fantastic. Overall, no uniques in this pack, but we have one weak, one standard, and two tough representing the Black Powder Rebels, the Elemental Guild, and the Atlanteans. So, folks, that is another retro Minions unboxing Mage Knight collectible miniatures game. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love these guys. Can't wait. I actually like to do some booster drafts with uh, this 48 case of these boosters. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.